triangle ABC with the sides A, B, and C, and the X radii R, A, R, B, and R, C lying opposite to the A, B, and C angles correspondingly. We need to prove the identity we have on the board. A times R, A plus B times R, B plus C times R, C divided by A, B, C equal to 1 divided by the in radius minus 1 divided by 2 times the circumradius of this triangle. Let's recall a couple of formulas first. The semi-parameter of the triangle is equal to 1 half of the parameter of the triangle or 1 half times A plus B plus C where A, B and C are the sides of the triangle. The area of the triangle is equal to the square root of the semi-parameter times P minus A times P minus B times P minus C. This formula is also known as Heron's formula. The in radius or the radius of the in circle of the triangle can be calculated as 2 times the square of the triangle divided by its parameter or in terms of the semi-parameter it can uh, be expressed by this expression right here. The square root of P minus A times P minus B times P minus C, and this all is divided by P. Then there is the circumradius, or the radius of the circumcircle of the triangle, which is calculated as A times B times C divided by 4 times the area of the triangle, or again in terms of A and again. I have a mistake. Oh, not anymore. In terms of the semi-parameter, we'll go ABC divided by 4 times the square root of P times P minus A times P minus B and times P minus C. Then there are the X radii. So RA is the X radius of the X circle lying opposite to the A angle of the triangle. And it is calculated by these formulas. So it is 2 times the area divided by B plus C minus A, or in terms of the semi-parameter, it goes as uh, the square root of P times P minus B times P minus C, and the soul is divided by P minus A. Then there is RB, the X radius of the X circle lying opposite to the B angle of the triangle ABC. And it is calculated by these formulas. So it is 2 times the area uh, divided by A plus C minus B, or in terms of the same parameter of a triangle, it goes P times P minus A times P minus C divided by P minus B. And finally, there is the RC X radius, which is a radius of the X circle lying opposite to the uh, C angle of the triangle and which is called, calculated by these two formulas. Again, the one involving the area or the one involving the center parameter. I'll make myself some room. And get started. side of this identity with an asterisk so that we wouldn't have to rewrite it one more time and then substitute the formulas for the x radii into this expression right here so the asterisk formula goes like this we have a times the ra x radius and I'm substituting the formula involving the semi-parameters, so I'm multiplying it by this square root of P times P minus B times P minus C over P minus A 
Then I have B times the RBX radius. So I have B times the square root of P times P minus A times P minus C divided by B minus B. Let's see if I can squeeze the third sound here. I'll try my best. So I have C multiplied by the square root of B times P minus A times P minus B over B minus C. And this whole thing goes, uh, goes divided by A, B, and C. I suggest that we factor out the square root of P and pull this denominator in front of the whole expression. So I'll have square root of P divided by ABC times this new expression of A of A times the square root of P minus B times P minus C divided by the square root of B minus A plus B, I'm sorry, plus B times the square root of P minus A times P minus C all the square root of B minus B and plus C times the square root of B minus A, B minus B over the square root of B minus C. Let's now reduce these three fractions to the common denominator. Obviously, we'll get rid of the square roots in the numerator right here. So, we'll have A times B minus B times P minus C plus B times P minus A times P minus C plus C times P minus A times P minus B and this whole thing is divided by the large square root of P minus A times P minus B times P minus C. Mm. I suggest that we stop now for a little bit with this part of the expression of the identity and keep what we obtained in mind. I'll move it to the top so that we won't lose or forget anything. Hmm. So the left side of this identity, the one which is marked by an asterisk, is transformed into this expression. So it is the square root of B divided by ABC times A P minus B 
P minus C plus B P minus A P minus C plus C P minus A P minus B and divided by the square root of P minus A times P minus B times P minus C. <laughs> now let's consider the right side of this identity. Let's mark it by two asterisks. and see what we can do with it. So it goes 1 divided by the in radius minus uh, 1 divided by 2 times the circum radius. So we'll substitute these two formulas in this expression and this is what we're going to get. 1 divided by the in radius will give us um, the square root of P divided by P minus A times P minus B times P minus C and then we'll subtract 1 divided by the 2 times the circle radius so we'll go one. Uh, so we'll go minus two times the square root of p times p minus a times p minus b times p minus c. This all goes under the square root and divided by a b c. And again, I suggest that we factor out the square root of P. So, this leaves us with 1 divided by the square root of P minus A times P minus B times P minus C. minus 2 times the square root of p minus a, p minus b, p minus c, over a, b, c. Let's reduce these two factor fractions to the common denominator. So we'll have hmm, square root of p times this large new fraction with the denominator numerator ABC minus 2 times P minus A times P minus B times P minus C and ABC times the square root of P minus A times P minus B times P minus C in the denominator. Right. And this, this is where I, I'll start for now. So this expression is what this right side of the identity was transformed into. Let me write it one more time. So here we have square root of P divided by ABC times 
A, B, C minus 2 times B minus A times P minus B times P minus C and divided by the square root of P minus A times P minus B times P minus C. Now, if we look closer to these expressions marked as an asterisk, asterisk and two asterisks, we'll notice that they actually do have much in common, like this whole thing. So basically now, to prove this identity, we only need to prove the equality of these two factors. So I suggest that we do that simplify it. I suggest that we open these parentheses and we'll do this step by step. So we'll have AP minus AB times B minus C plus BP minus AB times P minus C plus CP minus AC times P minus B. A times P squared minus ACP minus ABP plus ABC Then we have plus B times P squared minus B C D minus A D D plus A B C and finally the last one plus C P squared minus B, C, B minus A, C, B plus A, B, C Now, let's group up these sums some of them at least So what we can do is factor out the squared P We'll have A plus B plus C in the parentheses. Then we can factor out negative 2B and we'll have AC plus AB plus BC and we'll have plus 3ABC. Now if we look at the very first formula, we'll notice that this factor can be presented as 2 times the semi-parameter. So, this whole thing can be written as follows. 2 times p cubed 
minus 2p. This rest thing goes unchanged. Times AC plus AB plus BC and plus 3ABC. P cubed minus 2 times P times AC plus AB plus BC and plus 3 times A times B times C. Now let's take a look at the second expression. Don't need these parentheses anymore. So we have ABC minus, let me write it a little bit lower, <clears throat> ABC minus 2B minus 2A times B squared minus C B minus B B plus B C which is equal to A B C minus 2 B cubed minus 2 C Minus 2v b squared plus 2bc b minus 2a b squared plus 2ac b plus 2. Minus 2p cubed plus 2cp squared plus 2bp squared minus 2bcp plus 2ap squared minus 2ACP minus 2ABP plus 2ABC Let's 
see if there's anything we can do with this. Negative two b cubed. And then we can factor out two b squared. And this is what we'll have in the parentheses, a plus b plus c. Then we can also factor out negative 2p. <clears throat> which leaves us with... BC plus AC plus AB and we still have ABCs left. We have ABC plus 2ABC which is 3ABC. So we can write this as 2p squared times another 2p. The rest of the expression goes unchanged. Minus 2p times bc plus ac plus ab plus 3abc. here, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so it is negative 2p cubed plus 4p cubed minus 2p times bc plus ac plus ab and plus 3abc. This is equal to 2p cubed minus 2p times ac plus ab plus bc plus 3abc. Let me over here. So we came to an expression of 2p cubed minus, p ti uh, minus 2p times ac plus ab plus bc plus 3abc. Thank you. 